One. David Terry. And Matt. And what are we doing today, Mr. Making David? Making chicken, believe scallops. Yep, chicken, scallop, chicken, and potatoes is what we're making today. So we are cooking with David and Matt today. You can see we have all of our ingredients arranged over here. We have our crock pot all set up. Yep. David and I like to use the crock pot. We find it's a really handy tool Two. to use in the kitchen. So what do you say, David? Should we get cooking? Yep. Now, before we started, obviously, we prepped all of our ingredients. We also washed our hands because yep. having clean hands is very important when handling food. So to begin, David, I would like you to please sprinkle the onions okay. all around the bottom of the crock pot. Very good. Okay. I'm going to get a spoon because we'll need this in a moment. And I'll just have you spread the onions around the bottom a little bit, please, so they're not in one big pile, but they're nice and spread out. Like this? Yeah, get them spread out. What I like to do is I use the back of the spoon sometimes, and I just kind of push it around. Like that? Very good. So it's not all bunched up in one place. Looks good. You can see David sprayed our crock pot so nothing burns to the bottom. Okay, so that looks good. Next, I will hand you this plate of potatoes. And you can start layering the potatoes, please. Like, uh, use my hand? Yeah, I would use your hand. Your hands are nice and clean. Yep, so you want to just make a nice layer along the bottom. Like that? Very good. Don't use too much, too much potatoes, huh? Yep, so the recipe called for seven or eight medium potatoes. So lots of potatoes. Make sure you get a nice layer. So we want to we want to bury those onions completely, so we can't see the onions at all anymore. Like this. Mhm. Mm Good job. Go. Nice. Like. <laughs> Excellent way to cover that little spot in the back. Nicely done. Maybe you can't use like this way. As long as you get all those onions. So you see, you still have a few open spots around the edge. Once you can cover those up, you can kind of scoop the rest of the potatoes in like with your hand. Yep, that's fine. Okay, and we're just going to try and make them somewhat even. Nice and spread out around the bottom. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. You can put the plate over there, yes. So the next thing we're going to do is add our chicken. That's Matt's favorite part. Okay, David would like me to add the chicken, so I can do that. You want me to hold the chicken? I'll have you hold the phone, please, yes. Wash your hands you handle meat. That's right. Very important to wash your hands after handling raw meat. So I'll put that right there. You can just take a look and show everybody what the crock pot looks like. Inside. Well, I wash my hands. You see the chicken and uh, potatoes and onions? Okay, and next David is going to add some of our ingredients for us. So David, in no particular order, you may start sprinkling on some garlic powder, onion powder, Black so, pepper, paprika, and a hint of salt. Like this? That looks good. Nicely done. And so, this? Oh, and like some this. paprika. Like, Nice job. And the salt. Yep, a little bit of salt. Like this? So other way, you're going to take the cap right off. Oh, like here? Mm -hmm. Now hold on, there's still a cap on it, so you want to remove that piece. Now go ahead. Like. And that's good. You can always add more salt, you can never add less. So we try not to overdo it. Next you have your black pepper. Oh, what's like this side? Oh. 
careful, that's gonna come out quickly. So why don't we, I know this one's tricky. It has numerous spouts. There you go. Shake some of that black pepper all around. Very good. And finally, the onion powder. And remember that that does come out quickly as well. So for this side. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Okay. The next thing David is going to do is add our cheese packet. Yep. Like this, the... Nice job, way to spread it all the way around. thing we are going to do, David, yeah. is scoop this can of cream of celery soup into this bowl, please. With the onions in? Yep. Well, the onions are already in the recipe, so it's okay if we mix it with onions. That bowl was only used for that purpose. Okay, good. Now, we are going to fill that can with milk, which you may do now. A little bit more. Oops. Okay, messes happen in the kitchen. A little bit more, please. We want to go right to the top. Perfect. Okay. Next, <clears throat> you're going to pour, slowly pour this can right into the bowl with the soup mix. Is that good? Mm -hmm. And very slowly, I would like you to please use that spoon to mix it all together. Nice technique. Not too fast, not too slow. that whole bowl right over our ingredients in the crock pot. Take this one now. Mm -hmm. That's just fine. Carefully. Bring it over here. Okay, did a nice job covering everything. So, you can put that bowl down. And now we're going to put the lid on the crock pot, please. Turn the crock pot to high. Is it this way? Very good. Start here? Mm hmm. Right here? That's high. Very good. Okay. And we're going to let this cook on high for one and a half hours, and we will check back in with you then. Me and Matt saying off. Oh, bye. David's here again. And Matt, what now, David? What are we doing? Gonna turn it down. That's right, we're gonna check on our chicken and turn the heat down from high to low. Oh. So why don't you do that first, David? Please turn it down from right high. Right here? That's right, back to the left. Right here? Just like that, now it's on low. So, I don't know how well you can see this, folks, but there is certainly some magic happening inside there. Mm. David, can you tell them what it smells like? Like onions? Uh-huh. Little oniony, little cheesy. Yeah. Definitely some chicken in there. Yeah. Okay, folks, well. This has been Cooking with David and Matt, right. and we'll be sure to uh, post a picture or a video in the comments to let you know how it turned out. Okay, bye!